go up in the wings of God in the translation. Whatever you need, television watching this right now, lift up your hands and your hearts, and he will bless you. I feel right now we've got a five-minute broadcast that I would like to add to this, evidently prophecy. So still be watching. We'll be praying for you. Come out to Tatum and Shea Boulevard. We will pray for you at Capstone Cathedral. Lord bless your hearts. Amen. How <laughs> please. The five-minute world of Neil Frisbee, as this man of vision touches on the past and the present and predicts things yet to come. Now, the noted evangelist, Neil Frisbee. Now, Dan, on the scale of inches, we've entered uh, the Triple Veil uh, Chamber. All right, we're inside the Great Pyramid in Egypt. I've got to reiterate that. That's right. And we're talking about pyramid inches. And each inch indicates, uh, you said, something like a year. Yeah. Okay. All right, now, we're the Enoch Circle and the Triple Veil. All right, we've just left the Great Step in the Pyramid. Now, uh -huh. we've come to the Triple Veil. Now, that means automatically an advancement in revelation, spiritually speaking, uh -huh. and a, an advancement of knowledge. Well, so does it also mean an explosion of more knowledge and scientific wonders and weapons for the world. Now, it has to be there, electronic age. Uh, it speaks, uh, but mostly, the revelation to God's people, the final revelations in the Triple Veil that are coming to his people at the end of the age. It's it gathering his people together so that he can reveal the final things to them before the great translation. You know, in our pyramid here, we have a capstone. We've yeah. got a triple veil over here, you know, symbolism. Right. But nevertheless, uh, in the pyramid it gives it. Now, inside that, they have a, a, a circle that's 666. That denotes the Antichrist system coming. It shows the beast system. Revelation 13 and Revelation 18 speaks of this. It's the fires of the tribulation in this uh, passage uh, way that's in here. Then it gives a across diagonal 365 pyramid inches, the Enoch circle, they call it, mm -hmm. denotes the translation. So the translation is associated somehow in this movement. Now, the next one is a king's chamber where I feel is the entering of the translation that we know upon this earth here. But let me read okay. the many crossing lines in here that we have uh, of prophecies that I have given. And I believe through the crossing lines, the pyramid doesn't say this, but in my own prophetic, I believe through the lines, well, let's say the 85 through 88, uh, we'll have some wars, as we know of, uh, some more uh, in the, the Asia, the African continent, the Middle East probably, that we'll have that. And then we'll have a prosperity of returning, but more trouble before we get out of the 80s. Evidently, it goes into another hang-up in there, but there will be prosperity. And then, as we're getting closer uh, to the 90s, there's mm -hmm. a restructure of the whole earth, because we're entering a new department. Uh, and, and, of course, the King's Chamber speaks of some titanic forces meeting. We'll get to that in a moment. Okay. Uh, let me take you back to the, uh, the pyramid itself, though, the construction of it. What about the plane of the capstone? Well, that's where this is at now. We've uh -huh. reached the plane almost. We'll be getting to 6,000 pyramid inches from the creation of Adam All right. that were on there. Of course, the base of the pyramid goes back beyond the prehistoric time. It goes back to fall of Lucifer. Right. But we've been all that distance from the bottom to the top. So the plane of the capstone is directly in line with the capstone that would have been on the pyramid. Right. And uh, so we'll be, our next broadcast will be given prophecy, uh, clear to the end of the age. All right. And then you have the corners and uh, all yeah. the other dimensions. Oh, it's to so talk much about. it would take years. <laughs> okay. Let's invite our friends to write us for our prophetic letters while we're at it here. Yeah. Uh, feel free to write us. We'll send you a prophetic letter, uh, faith building letters, right. whatever you need. Okay. And the address is on the screen. Neil, uh, getting back to the pyramid now, you've got some advancements and some revelations here to talk about. Uh, why don't you continue? Uh, well, see, when you've come out of the Grand uh, Gallery uh -huh. into the uh, Great Step, yes. then the Anna Chamber, then the next step is the King's Chamber. Ah. Now, you know, when Napoleon went to the pyramid, he went into that chamber. It was open at that he time. He did? Yeah, but he found in that chamber there's an empty tomb. This is the only pyramid. There's no pharaohs in or nothing. It was built by God. And the empty tomb, it, it shows forth uh, the resurrection and translation of the saints, and it shows that Christ was resurrected. Now, that's how far it's went up in there. And there's an empty tomb showing that I am alive and live forevermore. That's what he said, you know, in the book mm -hmm. of Revelation, chapter 1, in there. But the next one, we go to the king's chamber. Yeah. It tells about the end of the age, uh, the translation, Armageddon, and the cycles of war. This is all indicated by the timeline. Mm -hmm. Yes by the pyramid inches. Yes. The Bible gives 6,000 years. The pyramid gives 6,000 years until a dramatic change comes in the millennium that we really believe. And we're not too far from that right now. No. We're almost out of time, so let's invite everybody to come and visit us here at Capstone. Yeah, everybody's Central. welcome. i got thousands of seats. Come on out and get one of them. We have our own pyramid here, too. Yeah, that's pyramid, too, isn't it? Right.
You have been listening to Evangelist Neil Frisbee. Be sure and attend services Sunday, 11 a.m. and 7.30 p.m. Tatum and Shea Boulevard, Phoenix. Prayer for the sick. That's Tatum and Shea Boulevard. Services each Sunday, 11 a.m. and 7.30 p.m. Everyone is welcome. This has been a Capstone production from beautiful Phoenix, Arizona.